You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. So we are here in the News 10 kitchen with Chef Gio from Chef Gio's Culinary Studio. He is a professional instructor, and I thought Matt and I really needed it. Um, thank you for joining us, Chef Gio. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So what are we making today? Today we're going to make spaghettone carbonara. Very, very Ooh. simple. Four ingredients. Spaghetti, pecorino romano, eggs, guanciale, which is pork jowl. And where do we start? We start by dropping our pasta in the water. Because that's, that's the longest part of this sure. entire recipe. I've already crisped up our guanciale. It's similar to bacon or similar to pancetta. Then we're going to make our carbonata cream, which contains zero cream. Really? It's two egg yolks and one whole egg. And I'm going to start by having Stephanie go ahead and whip okay, that great. egg yolk up for me. All right, I'm going to start whipping. And then maybe, no, don't put it in there, though. Okay. I was just trying to show it to the camera. <laughs> oh, gotcha. And then a couple <laughs> He's of, already couple, worried about me. Chef Gio's like, don't mess it up. A couple good grinds of uh, black pepper. I'll do that for you okay, while, you're, while you're whisking. So I'm whisking right now, and you're putting in some black pepper. Yeah, a couple, just a couple grinds of black pepper. And then as you're whisking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this pasta water, and I'm going to add about, eh, about a ladle full of pasta water to this cream while you're whipping. While now, you're whipping. why do you do that, you, Chef? You want to keep whisking. Oh, I want to keep whisking. What we're doing <laughs> is we're cooking, we're cooking the egg is what we're doing there. Okay. Uh, and it's wow. going to help thicken it up. And then as you're whisking, I'm going to add some pecorino romano cheese, right? Couple, oh, couple, we're doing this as yeah, we're whisking. As we're whisking. We're making the cream as we go. As we this go. is a lot of pressure. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> now, how important is it to maintain kind of that constant whisk, that constant Con Very, motion? very important. Otherwise, if you're adding hot pasta water to that egg and you're sitting still, you're going to end up making scrambled eggs. And that's, okay. how, that's not what we're we looking don't want for. That. And then maybe a couple more spoons of pecorino romano cheese. Guys, we're almost done. Wow. No way. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. But I mean, let's be honest though. I notice as you before you put that pasta in, that's freshly made pasta. Yeah, it's freshly made pasta, so it only takes about two minutes or so to cook. Obviously, if you're using dry pasta, it's going to take about ten minutes or so, mm -hmm. right? So really, our pasta is done, guys. Wow. Very, very quick, nice and al dente, and I'm going to drop it right into this saute pan. Now the pan is off. There's no heat on this pan right now. We're going to drop our pasta into the saute pan, and then. Matt, I'm going to let you take this saute pan. Don't get nervous. I'll yes, let you sir. Oh. And I'm going to take this, this egg cream from you, Stephanie. Okay. And we're going to drop it right into our... Now, as I drop this in, Matt, what sure. I want you to do is stir, stir, stir as I drop that in. Right? Gosh. Stir, stir, stir. Keep going, keep going. And you want to be off the heat when you do this. Otherwise, you're going to end up with scrambled eggs. There you go. Try to avoid it. I have only a spilled a small amount of the food. Eh, so, you know. so far, And you're putting more cheese on top. There's more cheese, You can guys. never have enough No, cheese. no, absolutely. And this helps to thicken the sauce as well. And that's it. The egg is cooked. A little bit of a guanciale on the counter. Wow. Oh, it's okay, too, Matt. There you go. <laughs> I do weather, not normally food. So, so. now what I'm going to do is plate it up. Oh, so I'm done. Do. That's it. You're wow. done. That's, it. The, that's the whole dish, guys. I mean, oh, this super, is an super amazing simple. Dish. So this dish is part of our 10-minute pasta dishes class that we do. Um, of course, we only have four minutes today. Sure. But, so, so we did. <laughs> so we, we, we wanted did, to give we you a, a challenge. A, we did a few <laughs> things ahead of time, but this is the dish, guys. It's very, very simple. And then I want you to see this beautiful cream that we're going to pour over the top of it. It smells incredible. I gotta say, with some of this made with just such simple ingredients. Simple, I mean, yeah. simple, simple ingredients. This is sometimes. the real spaghetti alla carbonara. No heavy cream, no peas, no ham, no smoked bacon. Just oh. those very four ingredients, guys. Chef Gio, and you are an authentic Italian man. Yes. You're bringing us this <laughs> straight from Italy. What's a little bit of history about carbonara? Carbonara is, um, it's, it's not... It came around after about World War II, mm -hmm. uh, became popular after around World War II, and there's a lot of theories about how it came to be. Um, carbonata means uh, uh, of the coal, so it's coal miner's pasta. Mm. So it's something that's very fatty, really, really has with very little expensive ingredients so that the coal miners went to work and they had some energy to, they to keep sustenance. working all day long. Exactly, exactly. Well, let me tell you, it's delicious for so few ingredients. It's so full of flavor. Yeah, absolutely. Chef Gio, thank you so much for doing your 10-minute pasta in four minutes absolutely. for my us. Absolutely, my pleasure. And you can all go to his website for Gio Culinary Studio. Sign up for these classes. Um, I think my husband and I really need this, Matt. Yeah. I think we need to start doing these classes. Not a bad thing to have in the repertoire. We'll be right back, everyone, with one last look at that forecast of meteorologist Matt Mackey. Uh, till then, we're going to just keep eating, right? Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. And another piece of the meat. I'm sorry.